on how to be a successful real estate agent in Dubai. Hi guys, my name is Fahd Daud. Welcome to this multi-part series on how to be a successful real estate agent in Dubai. A lot of people look at my videos, they listen to what I have to say, and inevitably they'll reach out to me and they'll say, look Fahd, I'm looking for some mentorship help, I'm looking for some advice, how to break into the industry. And so I give them sometimes advice over WhatsApp, uh, on a phone call and sometimes they get to meet me as well uh, obviously most of the time when they're very persuasive and don't give up at some stage I'm going to meet them and give them a brief on how to get into the real estate industry or if they're already in the industry how to succeed and grow and get better this series is for people who are already in the industry and who are looking to get into the Dubai real estate industry the first thing I'm going to talk about is how to have that vision that's going to propel you forward so that you, once you enter the industry, are never going to look back at anything else and never going to regret it and only going to go from success to success. And then after you've set your vision, what and how do you manage the first three months? Because the, being a real estate agent in Dubai, means zero salary you're a starting struggling entrepreneur slash CEO of your own single business okay let me tell you a little bit quickly about myself um, I was born and raised in Dubai my family's been here for four generations but I didn't start real estate in Dubai I started it in Toronto Canada in 2006 I was advising a very large fund from the um, that from the Middle East that was looking to invest a large amount of money in the Toronto market and by 2007 2008 I'd moved to Dubai and I was a partner in my old company uh, it was called Alzheim real estate but my journey kind of grew from there I was with one of the world's largest real estate companies that is based in Dubai uh, from 2016 onwards 15 onwards and I was one of their trainers I was a top agent I was on the leadership council so on and so forth uh, I've been through the ups and downs, I've had great mentors. I think I'm in a very good position to give advice to new budding agents who are looking to break into the industry. You know, like this is step one, this is what you should do in minute two, this is what you should do at minute three, so on and so forth, right? Does that make sense? The first thing, if you're thinking about a career in real estate, the number one thing that I personally believe that you should do is set a very clear and straight long-term vision so either you want to be super wealthy either you want to take care of your family you want to fly first class yourself and your kids and family you want to take care of your parents you have a dream to own houses around the world you want to be your own boss you want to be able to make more money you want to be able to set your own schedule whatever the case is my personal first recommendation is that you should have a very strong vision and that comes with a very strong why you need to do it the reason it's very important to do this is because real estate industry as a starting agent you're going to be a struggling entrepreneur and there's going to be tough times adversity that's really going to test you but if you've got this long-term vision set that look this is the path i'm taking and no matter what the case i'm going to succeed then when adversity comes and hits you you're still going to be able to trudge on you're still going to be able to march on the most famous example that tony robbins gives and this is from a general his name was Tariq bin Ziyad. when he landed on the shores of spain basically essentially told uh, he landed at, on the rock of gibraltar basically and gibraltar is named after him right in arabic it's called jabla Tariq. in english it's called gibraltar jabla Tariq means rock or mountain of Tariq that's where he landed right once he got to the shores of Spain he basically told his soldiers look ahead is either victory or martyrdom yeah one of the other but there is no retreat so he burned his boats or all the boats and he basically told the soldiers look we're not going to retreat 
So my recommendation is for anybody who's looking to start out as an agent in real estate in Dubai or anywhere else in the world, look, nobody succeeded doing anything part-time. You gotta burn your boats, go full steam ahead into it, put your head into it and you will succeed if you're super, 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 super committed and you're gonna work hard. Now, once you've got that vision set and you're like, you know what? I know that I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this for life. How do you manage the first one, two, three months where you're not gonna make a lot of money because it's a straight commission job? How are you going to manage the first one, two, three months? That's a good, 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 difficult dilemma a lot of people have. Let me give you an example. Assume you're making a monthly salary right now of 15,000 dirhams, okay? Look, if you're making about 2,000 or 3,000 dirhams right now, bless you, uh, and you're working hard, becoming a real estate agent, I think you're gonna be able to make that much money anyways in the first year, as long as you join a good company. And we're gonna discuss this in the next few videos. But you pretty much don't have a lot to lose, you know, because maybe even companies will loan you that money for the first three months until you come onto your feet. The people who are gonna be a little, little bit of a loss are the ones who are making 15,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 dirhams a month in Dubai. Look, if you think about saving three months worth of salary, so at 15,000, it's 45,000 for three months, and you decide once I have 45,000 dirhams, I'm gonna be able to go and work in real estate and test it out. Look, that's not gonna happen because I'm assuming at 15, you've got your own, maybe a wife, maybe some children, you've got expenses, and you're pretty much in Dubai as a city that's generally expensive, I'm not gonna deny that. You're probably not saving enough money to get to 45,000. Here's my suggestion of how you mitigate this difficult first two to three months. Look, any company you're working at where you're getting about 15,000 dirhams, when you leave them, you're gonna have some gratuity leave pay, it's gonna to amount to about maybe 10 to 15,000 dirhams. Great, you take that money and you split it in two and you speak to your special other wife, your family, your parents and say, look, the next one, two, three months are gonna be difficult. We're gonna to have to make do with the kind of money that we have. So let's say you split it with seven and a half thousand one month and seven and a half thousand the second month. What's gonna happen is, and, once you join a real estate company, you gotta land on your feet and run. I'm not even gonna say run from day one. Before you've left your previous job and you're in the notice period because you're still getting paid for that, you are going to start going to the new real estate company just to learn, you know, just to attend any training that they have, just to understand, maybe choose a good mentor. Day one you land, you start running. What's the ideal scenario? you make some money first month, but it's gonna be difficult. You will probably make some money at the end of month two, and then some good money at the end of month three. The way you manage it, because you're running every day, and you're there in the morning at 8.30 a.m. in the morning, but month two, you might make four or 5,000 dirhams extra, close a few deals here and there, help a few senior people, help your mentor. By month two or month three, you should be able to close a large enough sale, so you get about 20, 30, 40,000 dirhams coming into you, which now you've got some cushion to breathe, right? Your wife is not breathing down your neck. Your children are again a little bit happy because you can afford the toys and pay for them. You know, your parents, your father, your mother-in-law, obviously you don't get this 40,000 and burn through it. You hold it in your reserves because the first year is going to be tricky. The market doesn't matter, even if it's going up, is not going to be your best friend unless you show the market what you're made of, unless you show the market that you're resilient and you're not giving up. So, summarize. Number one, set a very clear vision. If you have a clear vision of this is where I'm going in 20 years, I don't wanna work with a boss anymore, I don't wanna to report to somebody else, I'd rather grow my own business, that is going to help you, that's gonna be your fuel and it's gonna help you travel and you know glide across the difficult times number two how do you adjust your money for the first one two three months so that you can make things last and you can actually survive all right guys look 
This is gonna be a multi-part series. The second one, I'm gonna talk about how to choose the right company with the best culture, which is very important because, listen, you get on the wrong bus, say goodbye to the next year. You're gonna be in a very, very, very difficult, difficult situation. Look, subscribe and hit the bell notification, especially if you're looking to become an agent, so I can send you, you know, reminders when the next video is up. Look forward to talking to you in person. If you've got any questions, just post it in the comments below. If it's simple, I'll answer it there. If it needs a long answer, I'll actually make a video and answer you specific to your situation. Good talking to you. See you soon.